combinations and permutations. Focusing on the definition, we'll then show an example and we'll get into the notation. First off, the definition of permutations and combinations. Love this screen this board. It's awesome. Ooh! Permutation. Now, first off, what and combinations. Why understand combinations and permutations? Well, first off, you encounter them all the time. You encounter them uh, every single day practically. You go to pick up clothes. If you change your clothes each day, you have a selection of clothes, a total, and you select, you choose a certain amount. What you choose is a part of that whole. That's either a combination or a permutation. If you're planning out a sequence of clothes to wear throughout the week, maybe, that could be permutation, normally that's going to be combination. When you, when you order something, food say, and there's a huge selection of things, and you got to pick three things you want to put on, whatever, a pizza or a cake or whatever, that's a combination. You use permutations and combinations all the time, much more than you realize. So understanding the math behind that is awesome. But how to remember which one? This is something that a lot of people, including myself, have gotten confused by. Well, I've been studying mnemonics for over nine years. Mnemonics, in case you aren't familiar with that, is the study of memory, like how you memorize things, how you get stuff to stay in your brain, one part, and the second part is how you access it from your brain, making sure that happens. So getting into the brain and then accessing it, that's what we're doing with this definition. And this is what we're doing with this entire vid, actually. So permutation. Now, when I was studying mnemonics, one of the main things that you learn is that when you have a very peculiar, very weird, very very grandiose, or very freakishly small, or something very abnormal in the memory, it's more easily recalled and more easily stored in long-term memory. So that's what I've done with this mnemonic, these mnemonics for remembering your between permutation and combinations. Permutation is Order and sequence matters, okay? Order and sequence does matter. Now the way, a good way to remember this is in permutation there's the word mutation. When there's a mutation genetically with DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, or with the cytosine, guanine, thymine, and adenine, if those are in a different sequence, if the alleles with, with uh, biology are in a different sequence, does that produce a different a different species, a different mutation, a, a, does that matter? Of course it does. Of course it does. That's, that's the essence of DNA. It's, this, it's a structured sequence. The thing, DNA, mutation, permutation, sequence does matter with permutations. Oh, that's awesome. We go on to combinations. Now again, this one's a really weird mnemonic, but because it's so weird, you remember it. And the whole point is not to have a logical mnemonic device. It's just to remember whatever the definition is. So, in the word combination, there is the word comb. When you comb your hair, all the hair follicles, does it matter their sequence? No, it just, it just matters that they're combed. So that's, that's weird, that's not as strong of a mnemonic device as I think the, the mutation, but it, it's so weird that you remember that combing your hair sequence doesn't matter, it's just in reference to clusters, combinations is reference to clusters, and order and sequence does not matter, the combinations. Now, I'll mention this later, and you'll understand it more thoroughly later. But another thing to recall is that the total number of combinations is always less than or equal to the total number of permutations with the same total and the same amount you choose. We'll get, oh, we'll get, we'll get to notation in a sec, but normally the notation for, let's say there's a total number of things and you want to have a combination of three items, Total number of things you want a permutation of three items. This is read um, n choose n combination choose r. N permutations choose r. And you'll understand what that notation means in a sec. But first, let's show an example of what permutations are without notation. Okay, so here we have three items. Yes, these are both knives, but I'm kind of thinking of them as different items. These are all different. Pocket knife, calculator, cutting knife, okay? Focusing on combinations, there's three items, and we want to see how many combinations we can make when we select two items. So, let's select this and this, that's one combination. Select this and this, that's a second combination. 
Now, how many are left? Well, there's only one, pocket knife and calculator. That's a third combination, All right? So three combinations can be made when you select two items from a total of three. Great. Now, permutations. How many permutations can be made? Well, this is one permutation, but then sequence matters. So calculator cutting knife is a permutation, but then cutting knife calculator is also a permutation. So that's two. Three, four, and finally, five, six. Again, because pocket knife, calculator, and calculator, pocket knife are the same combination. They only count as one combination, but those are two different permutations. So out of three items, when you select two, you can make six permutations or three combinations. science and science. Oh, that's awesome! And health and everything great. Right. Now I'll focus on notation, okay? Now, I will explain what I showed you with the, the two knives and the uh, calculator, but first, notation, okay? Notation is really important. You'll see it a lot on tests. It's how you formally write combinations and permutations, and you encounter it all the time. You can't really understand combinations and permutations without fully comprehending the notation behind it. Notation is important. I like notation. It's shorthand. It's the essence of math and computer science, really. It allows you to um, symbolize things with very few characters, and it's awesome. Very few numbers and letters. And so, notation. For combinations, it's N C R. Permutations, it's typically NPR. That's the most common. You might see um, C parentheses N comma R or P parentheses N comma R. But N is reference to the total number of items selected, the total number, and R is the total selected. So N is the total, and R is the selected. So when we're showing the uh, the two knives and the calculator selection, how many total were there? Three. How many are being selected? Two, okay? So, it's best to understand permutations first because the total number of permutations used in a selection, a total number, and then the selection of that is actually a component of combinations. Um, you see here in the equation for combinations that the total number of permutations is actually part of the function, part of the equation. So, understanding permutations is the best thing to do first. Oh, that's awesome! Okay, notation is the total number factorial over total minus selected factorial. Now, whenever I see factorial, it's difficult to not be excited because it's an exclamation point. Whoa! Whenever I'm reading like a math book or learning something that involves factorials, it just looks like the mathematician or whoever wrote the material just got incredibly excited because there's always exclamation marks all over, all over, all over the place. So, Let's use the example of four, okay? Let's say there's four items, all right? That's three, we added a pen, that's four. Now, what is the total, um, the, the, the total factorial is going to be four factorial. And again, a reminder of factorials is it's just all the integers up to that integer multiplied together. So what is three factorial? Three times two times one, which is six. Four factorial? Four times three times two times one, which is 24. So back to our, our four things total. We're doing a permutation whoops, of four total items. So that's this part here. So that becomes four factorial. See that? And then now let's select two. How many permutations can we get if we select two of these? We've got a nice sandal, a juggling ball, a phone and a well, Android, awesome tablet thing. And we select two, okay? Now, we could work it out like how I showed with the, the knives on the calculator, going like, oh, that's a permutation, that's a permutation, that's a permutation, that's a permutation, that's four, and adding them all up. Or we could use this notation, this, this function, the sequence, which is why I love math and science. Really cool stuff. So, total minus selected. What is the total? Four. Now, now what is now how many are being selected? We said two. Four minus two is two. Two factorials, two times one, which is two. So we have four factorial divided by 
2 times 1, which is 2, divided by 2, which is 12. So, therefore, the total number of permutations when there's four items, when you select two of them, is 12. Meaning, if I calculated all the permutations for selecting two items of these four, that'd be 1, that'd be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's it. I can solve that. Now, it may be easier to, to do it by hand with actual objects, objects, up until maybe like you're working with more than three or four items. But after that, you know, it's all, it's, if you have 50 garments that you're trying to choose two from, you know, if you just, you would take you a whole day to count the number of permutations with that. Or when you're trying to choose 10 from, you can always plug in this awesome rotation formula. Great. So that's the permutations. Now, let's understand combinations, all right? Combinations utilize the permutation um, result. And it's the total number of permutations minus the, the selected factorial, okay? So let's work with, and again, see, I, ex I, um, I expanded it out here. See, the permutations is really that function. So this is that move there, which is permutations over selected. So that, this is just the condensed version of this. So to understand that, to do a combination notation, you have to do a permutation combination, which is why it's interesting. And again, just as a reminder, n is total, r is what's selected. So let's look at three items, okay? Actually, you know what the heck, let's stick with four. So we're, so we're doing four, selecting two. Now, four, select two. How many permutations? We just solved that. It was, tw it was 12, remember? It was 12, great. Now, so that's 12 up there, so that's 12, minus, divided by, the total number selected factorial. And the total number selected factorial is 2. 2 factorial is 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we have four items, and we select two of them. How many combinations? It's going to be the total number of permutations for that same amount. Four total, select 2, which is 12, divided by the number of selected factorial. The number of selected factorial is 2. And that is uh, 6. So, 4 permutations 2 is 12. 4 combinations 2 is 6. Do you understand that? It's awesome. When you get larger numbers, larger sequences of things, and repetitions, not repetitions, this is magnificently useful to understand really crisply. It's awesome. Now, let's do a couple examples. But before we do that, I need to communicate this to you. This is really cool. You could have um, inductively understood this, or deductively, but therefore, so, 4 combinations 2 is 6, 4 permutations 2 is 12. The total number of combinations, therefore, is always less than or equal to the total number of permutations. The total number of combinations can never exceed the permutations. If you have 50,000 items and you select 31,379 of them. And you want to know how many combinations and permutations for those exact same total and exact same number selected? The permutations will always be greater than or equal to the combinations. That's useful. That's a good little, uh, a good little checking mechanism to check to make sure you have the right amount. If, if, if you calculate um, a, a number of items that you select out of a total number of items for the same amount with combinations and permutations, then the permutations is less than the combinations, you know you did something wrong. Combinations is always a less than or equal to, that way you know you always do something right. It's great. It's still a way to go check. So, a couple more examples here. Let's say we have four items and we select three. Okay? Now, here we are with these four items again. You tell I've got a calculator. Awesome. Now, that is plugging into permutations first. It's going to be four factorial, four items total which is 24, 4 factorial is 24, divided by, divided by the total minus the number selected. Total minus the number selected, the number selected is 3. We're selecting 3, 4 minus 3 is 1. It turns out to be 24 over 1. Therefore, if you have 4 items and you select 3 of them, you can have 24 permutations. That's pretty cool. Now, the exact same thing with combinations is going to be the total permutations, which is 24, 
divided by the number of selected factorial. The number of selected factorial is 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So you see how four. Be four. the, the total, total number of permutations out of 4 totals, and you select 3, is 24, and you use that 24 to then select, uh, to put it in the numerator of the combination notation function, and divide that by the number of selected factorial, which is 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So that's pretty cool. Four, four total items, and you select three of them, you get 24 permutations, the same four total items, select three combinations, then you get four. That's awesome! And now what we're talking about with the, the two knives and the calculator, here's the notation of that, which is cool. You saw it like in manually um, selecting them out by hand, now you see the notation. Whoa, that's awesome! All right. So it'd be written how many permutations with the um, the knives in the calculator, three total, and you must select two, so that's three factorial, to six, divided by the total number selected, to, um, subtracted from the total, which is three minus two, which is one. So that turns out to be six. And remember, we calculated there was those six permutations with those three things. And or we, we saw that, actually. And then the combinations is going to be the total number of permutations, six total permutations, divided by the total number selected. Uh, factorial, which is 2, which is 3. And remember, we could do calculator, pocket knife, calculator, cutting knife, and cutting knife, pocket knife as the three combinations. And but there's twice as many six combinations. So that's notation. 